you to worship with us this yeah. morning. Hallelujah.
kids know we're going to give the mothers a big celebration, but we went and got the food from Sparta. And I looked in the back of the car and I told Sister Taj the thing was a mess. But the Holy Ghost said, well, you, what are you focusing on food for? That's right. Uh, you need to focus on me. That's right. You need to get in and lift up the praise. That's right. You need to get in. I know it's Mother's Day, but first of all, it's the Lord's Day. That's right. That's right. That's right. And we got to give him praise. That's right. We wouldn't be here if we're not going to be here. Isn't that right? That's right. That's right. That's right. Someone said, if he wasn't here, I'm here because he's here. That's right. And I know he's here. Yeah. So we want to give him the awesome praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. Lord, Lord God, is he awesome? Yeah. Speak to somebody that you just want to say awesome to and shout it to the top of your lungs and say he is awesome. Yeah. He, is awesome. Yeah. he deserves it all, saints. Yes, Every else, yeah. he deserves it all. Yeah. Because it all belongs to him. Yeah. He wouldn't have it if he didn't have it. We know he's got it, so we got it. Lord, you may have your seats. We're going to go before the Lord in prayer. As we know, this is our time. We pray for our nation. We pray for those that are in need in our congregation. Pray for this city. Pray for a move of God's spirit over this, this city, over our nation. You know we stand in need of a move of God's spirit. And there's ever a time, every hour, that we need that move. We just look at the landscape of our nation and see that we need a move of God's spirit. So make your offers where you are. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come before you, Lord God, on bending knees, Lord God, with outstretched hands, with hearts, Lord God, that are just truly thankful, first and foremost. Sir, had it not been for, as we just said, had it not been for the Lord on our side, where would we be? We know it would be, sir. We'd be in a hell, yeah. damned for down damnation, Lord God. Hallelujah. We had no hope until you stepped on this scene. And Lord God, when you stepped in the scene, you made everything all right. Lord God, you restored, Lord God, that which was broken. You became the last Adam, Lord God, and we brought back into restoration that was the last Adam forsook. So we thank you, sir, that you are our God, first and foremost. You are our Lord. We thank you, sir, that you had mercy on us and made the hand of death behave and allowed us to wake into a new day with new blessings. And we didn't come here to panic you. We come here to bless you, Lord God. We come to give you everything that you deserve. And truly, every ounce of us, Lord God, belongs to you. So, Father God, we stretch out our hands, Lord God, over our nation, Lord God, over our President, Lord God, the legislatures, Lord God, over, Lord God, governors and mayors, Lord God, city councilors, Lord God. Lord God, move upon their hearts. Let go, Lord God, that there's a heaven, Lord God, to gain and a hell to shun, Lord God. Let their hearts get right with you, sir. Lord God, they put their hands on the Bible, Lord God, and took an oath. First of all, Lord God, let them take an oath to you. They would obey your word, sir. Lord God, quicken in their hearts, sir, that your time is soon to come. We don't have to look very far sometime in our very own households and see, Lord God, that your time is nigh. Yeah. Quicken them, sir. Move by your Holy Ghost. Yeah. Rest our hearts, even where they sit, Lord God. Yeah. Lord God, we stretch our hands over our, over our schools, Lord God, yeah. our high schools, yeah. our colleges, campuses, yeah. Lord God. Draw our young people, Lord God. Yeah. Move upon their hearts, Lord God. Quicken us, a move of God's Spirit in their hearts, Lord God. Let them, Lord God, as Lord God, as David, when he was young, Lord God, tending your sheep, but we know he had a, a relationship with God, Lord God. Lord God, Josiah, when he took the throne, only eight years of age. Yeah. Lord God, there's a move of your Spirit upon yeah. our youth, sir. Oh, rest them, Jesus. Yeah. Let them follow, God. We pray, we sprinkle, Lord God. Not only sprinkle, we pour water. Lord God, we know somebody is planting a seed. Mother, grandmother, fathers, grandfather. Someone's planting a seed in them, Lord God. We water that seed, Lord God. Bring back wayward daughters, wayward sons, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, restore homes. Lord God, restore mothers, Lord God. This is Mother's Day. Restore, Lord God, broken relationships between mothers and daughters, fathers and daughters, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. Do it for your name's sake, Lord God. Lord God, you and Lord God, you don't care how, how long they've been, Lord God, away or what they've done when they were away. You just want them to come, sir. Yeah. Lord God, we bid them to come. We call them back in the name of Jesus. Lord God, it's just as you call Lazarus from the grave. We call them back in the name of Jesus. Come back to your first love. Come back and do your first works. Come back and fall in love, all in love over them again in the name of Jesus. And Father, we just thank you for revival in this place. Lord God, we just continue, Lord God, to war the spirits. Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Tuesdays. Lord God, even our own private time. We continue to war and pour down the strongholds over this city. We're believing for our pity cost in this city, sir. We're believing for the anointing, Lord God, to uproot, tear down, obliterate, annihilate the yoke of the enemy in this city. You, Lord God, you made us accountable for this city, Lord God. Let us be 
responsible, Lord God. Let us take our place in our war rooms, Lord God, and begin to war in the spirit. Begin to pray and intercede in the spirit, Lord God. Oh, you say you say you look for a man to stand in the camp, but you found none. Lord God, look no further than right here. There's some men and women standing in the camp right here. Come visit us right here, Lord God. Come, Lord God, let your anointing fall out right here in the name of Jesus. Lord God, from the parking lot on to the sanctuary, up and down Lebanon, up and down North of Illinois. Let your anointing, Lord God, arrest hearts. Lord God, bring these souls. Lord God, Lord God, take us, make us bold warriors. Let us get, Lord God, get on our war clothes and get out to those streets. Get out into those, Lord God, those wayward places, Bible places. Let us be bold to speak the word of God in our workplaces, Lord God, our school campuses. Wherever, Lord God, you carry these, this temple clay that carries your anointing. Let us be bold. You said a righteous are bold as a lion. Give us a mouth that's bold. Give us that mouth that will trumpet our Lord and Savior. Also, I'm not ashamed of the gospel, but it is the power of God unto salvation. So we thank you for the power that's already in us. Show us how to release it, sir. Give us the boldness to release it. You didn't just anoint us, Lord God. You didn't call us, to, Lord God. You didn't just put this Holy Ghost in us, Lord God, so we can just pray in tongues in our own private time. That's good in itself. But, Lord God, we've got to release this power yes, Lord. that's within us unto a lost and dying world. Lord. Lord God, that you would have your divine way in our place, Lord God, in this city. Lord God, for your glory, for your praise. Yes, Lord. God, we thank you for the man of God, and we thank you for the word of God that you place in his heart. Yes, Lord. Lord God, let us have hearts that receive. Lord God, let us have hearts, Lord God, not only that we receive, but will be doers of this precious word. Yes, Lord. Lord God, let us count in what is that precious pearl. You said that great pearl of Christ. Lord God, that they found it is your word. Yes. And we treasure it, Lord God, we honor it. So we thank you for this time of prayer. Oh, yes. Continue, Lord God, to see. Lord God, continue to stay in the mindset of praise and worship yes, throughout the rest of this service. We just give you thanks and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Come on, praise the Lord. Yeah. Come on, somebody lift up a praise there real quick. I said somebody lift up a praise there real quick. Come on, lift up a praise unto your God there real quick. Come on, somebody lift up a praise in this place. Just for a second, if you know the Lord is good. If you know the Lord is awesome, I need somebody to lift up a real praise. I didn't say praise them for me. I said somebody lift up a praise in this praise. Oh, come on, somebody bless the Lord, oh God. How many know the Lord is doing for you right now? He's blessed. He's awesome. He's mighty. He's wonderful. He's worthy to be praised. Oh, come on, somebody praise them. Come on, somebody praise them. Come on, somebody bless him just a minute. Come on, somebody magnify him. Amen. That mothers make. 
Amen. Men make different sacrifices, but there are sacrifices that only a mama will make. All right. the Amen. They carry the baby nine months. Okay. After nine months, they got to go in hard labor and push that baby out. Amen. And some almost died in labor. Yes. Amen. Trying to push that baby out. Amen. And so, you know, then after they push him out, amen, I've tried with my wife when the baby's up crying at night. And all I do is rub her back and go right back to sleep. Amen. But they up at the midnight, walking the floor, you know, taking care of their baby. Body stretch. Go through. Amen. And you know, for a woman, that's 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 a heavy thing to task because, you know, other women are critical of other women's body and so are men. Amen. So a woman's body has to be stretched. Then she's got to look at after the stretching is done and all of that. So we thank God for the mothers. Amen. They go through what they go through that their stars. Because sometimes the mother can feel unappreciated. Amen. After they done cooked and cleaned and done all that they can do. Amen. Then you got folk that's still ungrateful. Amen. Amen. Is that true? I'm helping you mothers today because we love all of our mothers, amen, in this place today. Amen. Prepare your hearts to give. Yeah. Amen. As Elder said, we have done a tremendous job with this dinner for Mother's Day. Amen. And we didn't charge no mother to come Thank and God. eat. And no father either. And no children. So the least you can do is give unto God. Hallelujah. Amen. And let God give it back. Amen. To the account. Hallelujah. Glory well, we'll to God. So prepare your hearts to give in this place today. I want you to give out a cheerful heart, whatever the Lord placed on your heart. Amen. Let's thank the Lord for all of our visitors being with us today. Amen. 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 Father God, in the name of Jesus, as you speak to your people's heart to give according to what you have placed on yes. your heart. Lord, you said you love a cheerful gift. Yeah. God, let us give cheerfully unto you this morning. Lord, knowing that you will give it back, Lord. God, you will bless us in our giving. Speak to your people's heart right yeah. now. Even if they had a certain amount, God, speak to them, Lord. God, if you're stretching them, stretch them in this hour. Lord, to give to the work of the kingdom of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You can come give it in your own way. And the Lord will bless you real good. Come on and give now. We have our app. You can still give on the app. Amen. You've got cash app. If you need it, you can give. But whatever you do, God bless you. Whatever you do, give unto the Lord. God bless you. And he will bless you real good. How many want to be blessed real good? And if you got to give real good, the Bible said if you sow bountifully, you reap what? Bountifully. But if you sow sparingly, you reap sparingly. Hallelujah. But it's not about the dollar amount, it's about your heart in the giving. Amen. It's about your heart in the giving. Thank the Lord. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Everybody had an opportunity to give on today. We know it's Mother's Day. Let's do a second off. I'm just <laughs> Amen. Thank you for your giving. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I ask you to bless those that have given. Lord, as we watch the news, looking online, God, all of the shortages, all of the recalls, everything that's going on. Lord God, we're giving naturally, but Lord, we need a provider in this season. Yeah. Lord, we need a provider in this hour. Lord God, we're at a place, Lord, where we can have money, but if the shelves are empty, what good is our money? Lord God, you told us a famine was coming. Lord, as we're sowing into your kingdom, God, give it back to us, Lord. God, you fed the woman, God. God, there was a widow woman, Lord, in the time of famine. Her meal barrel didn't run dry. Lord, I believe you're that same God that as we sow into your kingdom, our meal barrel will not run dry. Lord, it may look rough right now, but we believe, God, that the seeds we have sown is coming back a hundredfold. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Back into the hands of the praise team.
chapter 20, Job, excuse me, chapter 22, and actually Elder and I was discussing the scripture, and after that it wouldn't leave me alone, Elder. Job chapter 22 and verses, I'm going to start at verse 27. Thou shalt make thy prayer unto him, and he shall what? And thou shalt pay thy vows. Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be what? Unto who? And the light shall shine upon thy ways. If you would, look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor. neighbor. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. And speak to it. Speak I'm sorry, you had the wrong neighbor. Look at somebody else. Look at the neighbor on the other side. Say, neighbor. neighbor. Open, your mouth, Open your mouth. And speak to it. Speak to that, that was the wrong one. Look at somebody behind you. Say, neighbor. neighbor. Open your mouth. Open your and speak to it. it. All right, come on, give the Lord some praise. That's what I want to deal with today. You got to open your mouth and speak to it. And our mouths have been closed, but you know, the enemy has locked our mouth. But God has said, you better open your mouth and speak to it. Something's got to happen. If you open your mouth and speak to it, something got to move. Take the seats. Take the seats. If we can. Hallelujah. Uh, if I can, I know I normally do a little teaching. But for the mothers, can I preach to y'all today? Amen. I feel like preaching this morning. Amen. Catch me next week for some teaching. But I want to preach 
because God placed his word down in my soul. Open your mouth and speak to it. And the Lord began to deal with me and he began to say the problem and the reason why we're not speaking to it is first off, we don't know what to say. We don't know what to say to our situation. See, I don't mind shouting and dancing. I don't mind running and all of that good stuff. But when you're in the midnight hour and you don't have a shout and you don't have a dance, you need something on the inside that will rise up in you that will begin to come out of your mouth. And the Bible says the word is not the end of our mouth and in our heart the word of faith which we preach. I thank God that we're going to have young people begat young people that don't look over the season saints. The young people are going to bring them in, but the season saints are keep them in. What does the season saints understand? You got to labor in prayer. You got to get in the word of God because the devil ain't worried about your words. But when you open your mouth and declare what the word of God says, the devil starts backing up because there's only one thing he recognizes. It's the word of God. See, we've been speaking our own words. Yes. We've been saying our own thing to the devil. And the devil looking at you said, I ain't studying your words. Why? Well, because you flesh. And I control your flesh. But when you get the word on the inside of you, you know, have you ever been in prayer? And you went in weak, but all of a sudden, you feel that prayer will turn. And then the scriptures start coming alive. And you start quoting scriptures. What's that? That's the word of God coming out of you. When the enemy come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a stand of What's that standard? That's the word of God. That when the devil tell you you're defeated, the word begins to speak and say, I'm more than a conqueror. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. See, we don't have people that know the word, so you don't know what to speak. But when you know the word, you look the devil in the face and say, let God be true. And every man a liar, but we don't know the word. And if we know scriptures, we know it third party. I know it because mama quoted it. I know it because daddy quoted it. I know it because I heard it over the time. But see, you don't need to hear it through somebody else. The Bible said, he that ever hear, let him hear what the Spirit say to the church. I need a revelation of your word. What does it mean when you say weeping may endure for night, but joy is coming in the morning? See, it takes us having to go through some things to understand, devil, you tried me. But the word carries me through the midnight season. See, this is why I love real praises. See, I can test when somebody's a real yeah. praiser because real praisers know how to praise them through the good and the bad. Why? Yeah. Right? Because the word carries me through. Even when I meet the Bible, so let the weak say I'm sorry. See, when the word is in you, you can't be defeated. Why? Because the Bible said in the beginning was the word. Right. The word was with God. Had the word was God. Okay. See, when I put that word in me, I'm putting Jesus That's in me. Right. We've been putting our pastor in us. We've been putting our first lady in us. We've been putting religion in us. But I don't need that no more because that has failed me. But one thing I can say about my God, he never failed me. He's never been late. He's never disappointed me. So keep your stuff up. Give me God. Because when I, my back was against the wall, it was me and Jesus. When folk turned their back on me, it was me and Jesus. When folk talked about me, it was me and Jesus. Some folks said you shouldn't be saved today. But it's been you and Jesus that can carry you through my Because I had a word from the Lord. You got to say, Lord, I need to put this word so I can know what to say to the devil. Right. I can speak back to the enemy. When he tells you you're ugly, you can say, I'm fearfully. Right. Wonderfully made. Right. So we don't have enough word. So all we quote back is what the devil been talking Come on, about. I'm ugly. Mm. I'm a disappointment. Come on, No, that, is that what the word said? Right. Is that what God said about Come you? On. You can't speak something though you ain't heard. Yeah. Or that you don't know. Yeah. And so this is why we got to get the word of God. We've got to get this. I, I love to shout and dance, but I'm telling you, we're going to a season where the shout and dance might cease. Mm -hmm. But you got to have a word from the Lord. Yeah, that's right. Because when they start saying you can't buy nor sell, you better have a word. Right. right? Hallelujah. When you got to go to school board meetings and stand by yourself and tell them you're not going to teach my children that it's all right for a man to bear a man. You may have a shot of dance there, but you better have the Holy Ghost on the inside with some boldness yeah. to be able to go play in the yeah, right. See, the word is the only thing that's going to give you boldness. Yeah. 
to declare his word. See, the reason why you need the word is because I know what to speak because I look at what he's already done yes, sir. through his word. He shows me through his scriptures that he's Jehovah Jireh. Right. He shows me through his scriptures that he is my provider. But if I don't know the word, then I don't know what to speak when I'm broke. Mm -hmm. I speak security finance. Right. All right. Come on. I speak cash express. Glory to God. I speak debt upon debt upon debt upon debt. Instead of saying, Lord, look here, I don't know how you're going to do it. But I know you're my provider. See, one thing I love about the story when we had the two fish and five loaves of bread. I don't remember him praying and said, Lord, multiply this. No, he, the Bible said he took it. He gave thanks. And he said, feed her. You just start taking your money. Lord, I thank you. Everything going to be paid. And start giving it out. See, we are asking God to do something that he said, I already told you I'm going to do. I am the no provider. Quit asking me to provide. And thank me for provision. Thank me for making a way. Thank me for delivering you out. You know what's like this? You keep asking, Are you sure you can fix my car? Right. Nah, he said he was a mechanic. Come on now. You keep asking, he'll make some things. He'll think you doubt his ability. That's right. Right there. I told you I'm your provider. I told you, my car shall supply all of your need according to my riches and glory. What you asking me for? See, we don't know what to say because we ain't in the word. The Bible said, command you me concerning the works of my hand. You got to start commanding the heavens. I command a breakthrough. He said, prove me now. He would say the Lord of hope. And see if I will open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. But we too, many. God, please provide. Please make a way. No, square your shoulders. Get your back straight to the Lord. I know you gonna provide. Lord, I thank you because it's already done. I thank you the house is here. I thank you the car is here. I thank you the bank account is in order. Well, no, we scared to open our mouths. So we keep our mouths shut. But you got to open your mouth and say something. You got to declare it. So not only do you not know what to say, yeah, Lord, you don't know how to say it. You got to know there's a way you talk to God. And there's a way you talk to the devil. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's a way you need to talk to yourself. Mm -hmm. Amen. You can't come to God with a sob story. Because that don't move God. The Bible said, without faith, it is impossible to please God. We come to God, Lord, why me? Well, I'm going through, Lord. Don't you see what they're doing about me? Don't you see what they're saying about me? Why me, God? What if he was a sinner? But why me? I bled on the cross for you. I hung and died for you. But yet you won't pray like you're supposed to. Yet you won't cry out to me like this. Why would we be having a good crying party? Now when he get done crying, we all like, well, Lord. <laughs> I guess I better quit all my crying and whining and complaining. Because if we be honest, some of the stuff that we cry about, all right. well, y'all know where I'm going. Right. But self-inflicted. Right. Right. And you said, Lord, why? And he said, I'm asking you the same question. Right. I told you to move. I told you not to take off the law. I told you not to go that direction. Yet you did what you wanted to do anyway. But one thing about our God, he said, but I'm a present help in the time of trouble. So I know you're in trouble, but if you quit crying and get some faith again, I'll step in your situation and I'll turn it around. The Bible said, we can lay him to it for a night. You may have a night season, but hold on, because joy is on the way. Joy is coming to my situation. I got to open my mouth to say something. See, you got to understand with God, the only thing that's going to move him is faith. Yes, sir. Now, the Bible says he's not unto them. Of a broken heart. Yeah, that's right. That broken and contrite spirit. So your brokenness brings God close to you. Mm -hmm. But now he's waiting. Mm -hmm. I need to see something in order for me to move. Right. I'm right here because I know you're broken. Right here. I'm right here because I know you need me. But now I need you to show me that you trust me. Yeah. That I can do yeah. what you need me to do. Right. I've come to your situation. But what do you need me to do? Yeah. He Moses said, Lord, who shall I tell him sent me? He said, tell him I am that I am sent me. He said, I'm here. What you need me to do? Lord, I need $500. I'm $500. Lord, I need a new house. I'm the credit. I'm the banker. I'm the approval. I'm whatever you need me to be. See, we limited God. So he's just a shout. He's just a dad. No, my God is everything in all. Don't know how to talk to him. It's just like, you know, especially as kids. 
You knew the right time to ask your mama for something when you wanted it. Right. Glory to God. For my mama, it was easy when she would sleep on the computer. Going, hey, you mind if I go? Any other time, you got to be strategic how you act. You know, amen. You know how it is. You know how to talk to your parents. You know how to come to them and get what you want. Now, we that are parents know how to talk to our children. There's a difference. I can't command my mama to do nothing. But I can command all of them. And they better obey. See, I can't come to God in that same authority. I come to him just like, you know, my mom, if I need some money, mom, I really need some money. All right, there's a way I come to her. But if I need that, there's a clean, room, and there's clean your room now. I'm not, there's, you can see what I'm saying that the tone is different. See, why are we talking to the devil like he our daddy? No, 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 devil, I command you to get up out of here now. Yes, I command you to, see what we do, devil, can you leave? Devil, can you please get out of my mind? Devil, can you please get out of my house? Can you please get out of my bed? Devil, leave me alone. Leave me alone. No, you gotta get some authority. Devil, I command you to get up out of here. See, the devil don't have authority over you. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You have enough power to command that devil loose here in the name of Jesus. But we scared to talk to the devil. Come on now. Go to them, please. Oh. We're going and asking God for something he gave you the power to do. That's right. He said, whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. You asking God to come in your house. When you need to walk, I bind every spirit, every demonic activity. Say to the Lord, rebuke you. You going to lose my children? You going to lose my life? Now we said, God loose it. God said, God said, it's in your mouth. Just open your mouth and say something. Open your mouth and speak to it. If you speak, I'll move it. Because of the Jesus that's on the inside of us. Right, right. He's subject to me. I ain't scared of the devil. In God. <laughs> Hello. Mm -hmm. And in my flesh, I'm running. Well, see, that's the other thing. We try to speak in our flesh. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Devil, I command you to go in the devil. So who are you talking to? Mm -hmm. I command you to shut up. <laughs> sit down. <laughs> then we shut up and sit down. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Why? Because in order to speak to the devil, the Bible said, build yourself up in your most holy faith. Right. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. You can't command the devil if you ain't got lifestyle and prayer. That's true. Yeah. Because you can't speak. It has to be the Holy Ghost speaking through you. Exactly. And the only way the Holy Ghost can speak, the spirit and the what agree? The word. Right. Mm -hmm. If the word ain't on the inside, what's speaking? Right. 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 And the devil ain't bowing to no man's blood. The Bible said there was a man said, we adjure you. Seven sons of Satan, we adjure you by the Jesus Paul. And them devils said, Paul, we do know. Jesus, we know. Uh -huh. Who are you? We about to show you who we are. See, that's what some of us done been. We thought we was big and bad. So we went to the devil. I'm sure you did. And the devil said, wait a minute. I know what you was watching last night. Come on and enjoy me. I know what you've been doing in your secret place. Come on and enjoy me. Oh, you speaking tongues. The devil speaking with you. You, I know, I know, come out. And the devil, I know, I know, come out. Amen. Why? Because the devil don't recognize that. But when you've been in a place of prayer and you rise with the anointing of God, I ain't got to speak in tongues. I can speak in English. Loose here, devil. And the Bible said he got to go. You don't see Jesus doing a lot of things. The Bible said he stepped on the scene. And the Bible said the boy was written himself. And the Bible said he said, go. See, we, we sit here. Come out. Let him go. No, look at the devil say, I command you to go in the name of Jesus. We're not operating the authority. God ain't calling us to wrestle with no demon. All right. Oh, tell that thing to go. The Bible said, they said, can we at least go into the swine? He said, go and go. We have that authority, but we ain't speaking. No, we don't know how to speak to it. We cry about it. Amen. We're complaining about it. Uh -uh. Turn it around and speak to it. Yeah. Command it. Declare it. And it's got to obey you. Got to. He said, whatsoever you ask in my name, yeah. I'll give it to you. Uh -huh. I, I'll give it to you. He said, as he was walking past the fig tree, and he cursed it. He didn't sit there and pray for it. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we command this fig See, that is stuff we've been taught. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. And so it's been passed down. Uh -huh. So we feel like that's the way we have to do it. Yeah. I'm done. Father, yeah. In the name of oh, wow. 
the Lord Akka, the man, by the power, because we don't have the power. Oh, we just the honest. And we're trying to hopefully pray that he come in and do what he do. Amen. So if, if you ain't got it yet, you better pray like that. But we got to get to a place, I don't need to pray like that. I can look here and say, look here. Come I command you to be free right now. That's it. In the yes. name of the Lord. Loose him now. And it be done. Yes. But we got to start opening our mouth. Right. Faith come by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. The more you get that word in you. See, this, we're in a generation where people are absent of the word. That's right. Yes, sir. Of the true word. I said it before. We got to do away with all the inspirational speakers yes. in the pulpit. I, I don't mind. I mean, there's a place for that. Yes. But we need the word of God. Yes. Yes. Because inspirational pe preaching just makes us feel so good about ourselves. Right. I am anointed. I am good. I am powerful. Yes, I am beautiful. I can do Come on now. And there's nothing wrong with you feeling good about yourself. There's nothing wrong with that when it's the confidence of God. Yeah. But don't be, don't be, don't be deceived. Pride is in And make you feel like you're good when you're out of the will of God. Make you feel like you're in a place with God when you're far from God. And that's why you got to say, Lord, I don't need inspirational speakers. If it cut me, cut me. If it got to get me right, get it right. Because inspirational speaking can't get me to heaven. But the word of the living God will step in and it will be clean. It will be washed. It will do what it needs to do. spoke to me this morning. He said, tell them, don't do away with the season, saints. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> young saints. Yeah, y'all gonna bring in young people. But there's some season, saints. God, the young folks ain't. <laughs> Why? Because there's a generation that forgot the altar. Mm -hmm. There's a generation that don't know what it means to tarry at the altar. We pray in 15 minutes. Yeah. And we have let people preach to us and say, that's all right. Was your heart in it? No, there's a place where you lay out till you that's get a right. break. There's a place where you lay and prevail until the car really comes in and deliver. And we've lost that place. We've lost that real zeal. We've lost the travail where our stomachs begin to grow and something begins to cry out and his word begins to speak. Yes, thank God for the young people. Yes, we're tearing down tradition, but we can't lose the old way. We can't get away from the old lamb. We we need people that are to them, that are pray and get in that word so we can come out with power yeah. and an anointing. Mm -hmm. So young people, you got to get in that word. Mm -hmm. Because when you pray, you got to know what to pray. All right. You got to know how to command the devil mm -hmm. and tell him to go. Mm -hmm. Command him off of your friend. Yes, so the Bible said in Job, if you decree a thing, yes, sir. I'm going to establish it. See, we ain't decreeing nothing. That's right. No, we not. See, the word has given us all the instructions that we keep asking God for. Mm. Come on. Because we ain't read the instruction manual. Mm. Right. You know, I used to try to put cribs and stuff together. I tell them, well, I don't need them instructions. Mm. Halfway through, I'm like, I don't know why this way. So you should have read the instruction. <laughs> if I would have read the instruction, it would say, before you put this piece on, put this on. Because if you don't, when you try to put this on, it's not going to work. Yeah. See, we ain't read the instruction manual. That's right. Come on. So we're asking and we're praying and we're trying to figure out why the Lord isn't moving. He's bound to one thing. He can't go outside of his word. Yes. Don't be deceived. The devil can make it look like God. That's good. Oh, yes, he can. Oh, boy, he can dress it up. Yes. Oh, it look just like God. Yes. You want to know how I know? I was walking in that place. I had the long sleeves. Amen. Yeah, I did. Had the pants on. I didn't go to the picture shop. <laughs> we didn't call it the movie theater. The picture shop. Now, growing up, I ain't never heard the picture show until I got saved. Then he started talking about the picture show. So now I started saying, I don't go to the picture show. Man, it's called a movie theater, right. Cinema 6. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, nothing about no picture show. No, I don't go to the picture show. I'm saved and sanctified. I want to listen to that ungodly music. Mm. Uh -huh. Even if it's gospel and it got a little beat, turn it off. He shot. <laughs> and holy and righteous before yes. God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It looked the part, don't it? Mm. It looked sanctified. It looked holy. It looked righteous, but no power. No, power. Right. no, no power because anytime the devil wants to take over my mind with perversion, he's got control. Oh, no. Right? Anytime the devil wants to take over my mind with hate, he's got control. Amen. See, we look at a part that we don't have the power to walk in. Because one thing about the power, it don't need you to dress the part. It shows up. The power don't need you to do nothing. Oh, it do it all by itself. The Bible says the power of God was present.
presence to heal. And it was noise abroad that Jesus was in the house. He didn't have no flyer. He didn't have no social media page. Amen. He didn't have to do none of that. The power was healing, delivered, and the noise got up that Jesus was in the house. See, we're scared to decree a thing. I'm decreeing this. Come on. Oh, no, we're going to have some souls saved and delivered in this house. I'm decreeing. See, I'm not just decreeing for a house. I'm not just decreeing for a car. I heard a preacher say, you get your credit right, you can get all of that. Amen. So I'm not decreeing for that, though. It's coming. Amen. I'm not going to stop and say it ain't. But he said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Them things gonna be at. No, I'm the queer. This is my year of my ministry. This is my year of walking my level of a Lord. This is my year. These hands must have hands on the sick and they got to recover. This year, my level's got to be saved. I don't care if they come scratching, calling. Lord, you're gonna draw them out. Why? Because I'm the queer over their life. The Bible said he said he's here. Some of man can these bones live. You may have some dead bones, but God is asking you, can these bones live? See, this is the problem. We're asking God, can they leave? Mm. Right. I said, what you asking me for? Mm. Can they leave? Right. <laughs> See, this is the problem we have. We keep asking God, you going to make a way? He asked you, Emma. Right. Do you know me? Right. Right. Come on. Uh, see, this is the problem. Quit knowing him through your pastor. Right. Yes. Quit knowing him through your mama and your dad. You got to get to know him. Come on. Because if you don't, you'll always be asking him questions that the answer, if you knew him, would already be there. Right. Yes, God. Elder can't know me. Don't you? My favorite football team. Go and say it. Declare it. Speak it. Come on, don't lie. <laughs> no, don't whisper it. Say it loud. <laughs> no. Cowboy. Ah, oh, that is bold. Who gonna win a Super Bowl? Declare it. Huh? No, don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> don't say no other team. He know me. So he ain't gotta keep going asking my wife, what's his favorite team? Well, after a while, we say, oh, now, as long as we don't know each other, I wear their hoodie, I wear their sandals, I wear their hat. I talk about the Cowboys all the time. You should know that, I, that my team is a cow. The Lord be looking at Lord, are you going to provide? Are you going to make a way? Did not last year. Right. Did not a year ago. Did not turn it around. How many times you going to keep asking me? Am I going to do what I've already done? Right. No. He said, I don't need you to keep asking. Declare it. Open your mouth and speak to it. Mm. Declare it. I don't know what you need to declare, but you got to speak it. He said, then I'm going to establish it. Oh, I'm going to establish it. I'm going to make it play. I'm up where you walk in it. See, some of us are scared to declare because what if it don't happen? What if some don't believe? Does that make the word of God of none of us? Let God be true and every man a lie. If I don't speak it, it ain't going to happen. So I might as well speak it. And even if it don't, well, I was speaking it. And it may not happen tomorrow. It may not happen next week. But when I walk in, it's because I spoke it. I declared it. I commanded it. And it's got to be so. Hallelujah. But our mouths are shut. One, because of fear. Mm -hmm. Oh, the devil robbing the church of fear. Mm -hmm. Oh, we are a fearful church. A fearful body of believers. Amen. And it's a sad shame before God. Yes. Gamblers got more faith than us. Hmm. That's true. Yeah, they do. And especially the professional gamblers. They got a lot more faith than us. Mm -hmm. They trust the deck. They trust their skill. They trust their head. And we got a God that has already fixed it, so we won. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we don't even trust the process. Yeah. He had already fixed it, but no matter what you go through, you got to come out. No matter what situation you enter in, you coming out. What? He said, I called your ending before your beginning. I've already fixed it. Yeah, you keep doubting me. And this is the question. Has he ever failed you? Has he ever? You know, you may have prayed some things that didn't happen, and then over time you found out, oh, Lord, I'm glad you didn't answer that prayer. Why? Because he said, I, I know what I'm doing more than you know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. So then why will we open our mouths and start declaring over our lives? Amen. Why will we open our mouths and quit letting folk tell you who you are and speak right. what the word said about you? Amen. The devil done spoke to some of us so much we believe it. Yeah, right. And it's become our reality. That's true. And that's because he said it. We believe it. We hold to it. So now that's our life. Now I'm the creator. I'm blessed. You know, I'm going to tell you, I, I battle as I close with low self-esteem. I did. I just thought I was the ugliest individual. My Lord. In the world. <laughs> I did. I, and I'm being honest with you. I did. You asked my wife. I, I just didn't see it. People tell me, you're a good-looking man. And honestly, I did not see it. I just thought, man, I'm so ugly. Oh, I feel so insane. 
And fear y'all did. Insecure, I sure did. Boy, I started praying. I started looking at that mirror. Boy, you look good. <laughs> See, some of us scared to speak over ourselves. Right. You can look yourself in the mirror. Girl, you look good. Curves and all, you got it going on. See, don't let society tell you what's beautiful and what's not. No, no. It, it's how you appear. It's how you carry yourself. Confidence makes so up anyway. You look real good. It's all about how you feel about yourself. Good. I didn't see it at first, but I started speaking it. Yep. Now, That's I catch myself in the mirror, boy, and watch out. Glory to God. You got the decree in, and he said, I'll establish it. Yeah. And if you're the only one that think you look good, as long as you know you look good. See, we worry about what other people, so I can't speak it. No, if God told you a prophetess, open your mouth. I am a prophetess. I am a woman of God. I am a man of God. No, we just shut our mouth. No, that's not who I am. They told me that you God ain't called me to do that. What did God tell you? What did God tell you? We got people sitting here with anointings and giftings who won't operate in it because won't speak to it. Come on. That's it. I don't know if God will use. What you mean you don't know? Make yourself available. You right. know he'll use me. He will, and then he'll use you up. That part. <laughs> Not only will he use you, he'll use you up, but what you keep speaking over yourself. Right. Ask people, come on, it's time for you to start mentioning, well, I got to do this right. I got to get this right. You know, and I'm not ready. And I'm not ready. Next year, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Fifteen years, I'm not ready. That's the problem. You need to start saying, I am ready. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And I decree it and declare. See, this is the thing. Don't compare yourself to nobody. Right. Yeah, right. That's true. Stop trying to have a ministry like somebody else. Right. That's true. If you say, Lord, use me how you want me. See, that's one of the things why people won't walk into it. I can't preach like they can. I can't sing like that. So what? Some people want some authentic realness anyway. Sometimes people want to know that you may stutter over words, that you got a little slang. Why? Well, because there's a group of people that don't talk proper. They slay. And they need to be able to relate to whoever up there so they can be watching the people. This is what that messed up the church. And so there's a whole crop of people that we can't win, win because we don't know their lingo. Right. Well, not talk. That's why I love this church. I, mean, I, I get some amens. I get some periods. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that part, facts. Yeah. At first, I was like, Lord, what's happening? Yeah. <laughs> I'm in here. Yeah. I need some amen. Preach, yeah. preacher. They, but you know, that's the amen. Yeah. Period. Yeah. That's the new amen. Yeah. Amen. And we got to get used to that because there's going to come some people up in here that that's how they talk. Mm, that's right. yeah. But if we don't decree a thing over ourselves, yes, right. when they come in, we'll look at them sideways. That's that's right. Right. So some of us got to speak. I'm coming out of tradition. Yeah. Right. Tradition is, I have to speak it over myself. Yeah. Oh, I got to. I had to speak it last night. I'm coming out of tradition. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm coming out, I'm coming out. Lord, I'm coming out of tradition. I'm coming out, I'm coming out, I'm coming out. By the time I got home, I ain't came now. You gotta speak over yourself. He said, I'm gonna establish it. I'm gonna do it for you. We keep waiting on God to do something that He said is in your mouth to speak it. Stop asking. Stop waiting on decree it over your life. I started in 2018 declaring I'm going to have a trucking bill. I spoke it and I spoke it. When it went to ground, I kept speaking. Man, when I'm stranded in Michigan with no way to get home, brother got to drive eight hours to pick me and brother Marcus up. All the freight is all over the highway. Truck is total. Got the wrong insurance. Don't know how I'm going to pay for nothing. Getting sued left and right, but I'm still speaking. I'm going to have a trucking bill. I'm going to have a trucking bill. See, that's the problem. When trouble hit, we think, well, it wasn't the Lord's will. No, the devil's going to try what you say, but can you keep on speaking? In the midst of the storm, I'm coming out. I'm going to be blessed. I'm going to be anointed. This ain't my life. I can't be loved. I'm going to be loved right. See, some of us here speaking over ourselves. I ain't selling for less. I refuse. No, I am blessed and I'm worth it. But until you speak over it, until you speak, it ain't going to happen. God is waiting on you to decree it. Now, I'm not talking about naming and claiming, grabbing and, you know. Don't be, if your credit score 400, don't be going to talk about the audience mind. 
Hallelujah. That 600,000 house is mine. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. And you can't buy a hut. So don't do that. Say, Lord, you're going to help me repair my credit. That's right. And give me the income. And then if you want the 600 bed you have, it would be yours. But you might find out when you start disciplining yourself, I don't even need all that. That's right. Come on. Because some of us want stuff for the look. That's right. That's so true. That's so true. Instead of just wanting it just for the need. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's true. So you'll find out, Lord, as I discipline myself, as my credit gets right, as my money gets right, it's better to have a house that every, everything is functioning, we can all be comfortable, and still have a little money in savings, right. than to have a house that I can't pay the electric bill for. All right. That's right. So when you decree, you got to say, God, give me the wisdom on what to decree. Yeah. I don't want to teach. That's why he said, if you ask anything according to my will. Right. So you got to get in God's will. Yeah. So that when you decree, you ain't decreeing outside of his will. Yeah. No, I'm going to decree in God's will. And when I'm in God's will, I'm decreeing. It's just going to line up a line. Oh. Precept on precept. I ain't got to make it happen. The favor of God just starts yes, walking. Yes, yes. I close with this because it's one o'clock. <laughs> when God told me this building was mine. I, now, I didn't go down the highway just decreeing over this building. Well, because I said, well, we ain't got the membership. We ain't got the tithing. Yeah, it's on the way. Hallelujah, it's on the way. Amen. So we ain't got, what are we going to do with that building? So, you know, I had saw it. But I wasn't thinking about it. I was comfortable where we were. Great building. I was brand new. That store out. Now, I tell you, I decreed didn't I ever. And I remember, I told him, I said, God going to have to move these people because I need this parking lot. And I said, I decree they got to go. Well, they gone. We ain't there, but they still gone. We still out of my word. Hallelujah. Glory. There's power when you speak. See, I don't think we understand. The Bible said, what is man that thou art so mindful of? God has given us a level of authority that we're not operating in. He has crowned us with glory. But we don't know who we are. So we're scared to de decree. When Adam was in the garden, he named everything. He had complete dominion. Now we know the sin came in. They fell. But the Bible said the second man, Adam, who is Jesus, came and reconciled us back to that place. To where I have the authority and the power to speak to anything and it's not to obey. The Lord said, this your building. I said, well, y'all know the story. And when we finally, when I finally said, okay, Lord, I'm in your will, I started declaring. Remember, I was showing people to build me, had no contract, show Brother Marshall. I showed everybody, y'all come over here, ride over here with me. We couldn't even get in the building, didn't have no key, we peeking through the windows. I said, that's the building. I started decreeing. I started decreeing how I wanted the pavements, how I wanted things to work out. And because I was in his will, he just started lining it up. He just started putting it piece by piece by piece by piece. When you get in God's will, God will start putting it piece by piece. If it's not working, say, Lord, am I out of alignment? If I'm out of alignment, God, get me back in your will. So that when I decree it, I don't have to run. I ain't got to look. Is it going to happen? No, it's already done. He said, before you ask a thing, I'm going to already do it. Somebody needs to know you're already blessed. He just wait on you command it. Bring it down from glory and bring it to the present. Right. Open your mouth and say something. Say, don't sit here quiet. We are, we are just, we're so powerful and we don't even know it. Religion has tricked us. You ain't always got to come to the pastor and pray for you. Decree it over your life. Declare it over yourself. You ain't got to wait somebody to release this. You know, oh boy. That's what we've been waiting on. Some great prophet. Some great preacher to come and, yea, the Lord will say unto thee, it is your time. No, you know what the Lord told you is your time. That's right. Stop delaying. Start moving. Yes. Stop and declare it over your life. Decree it. I'm going to be blessed. I'm going to be anointed. Belleville about to be saved. Yes, Revival yes. about to hit Belleville. Revival about to hit Sykeson. Revival about to hit Cape Toronto. Revival about to go all the way down I 55. From St. Louis all the way down to Memphis. We got to start decreeing and declare that it's revival season. This is the move of God. I refuse to have a nice house and a nice car and know my loved ones is going to hell. No, this is revival season. Y'all coming out. Y'all about to be saved. I don't care what God got to do. Get them Jesus and bring them here because I'm the Decree over your life. But he said, I'm waiting on you to open your mouth yes, sir. and say something. Don't be scared to open your mouth. Don't be scared to decree it. Yes, sir. Don't worry about it if it don't happen. Don't worry about it. Well, I've been decreeing 
God used Brother Mark and Sister Brittany. I know y'all been decreed over by Kayla, haven't y'all? Oh, yes. Been declaring. And I know sometimes the devil probably make you wonder, is it going to happen? Yes. Is it ever going to happen? Keep on declaring. Because she already a miracle. Yes. I mean, it was your mouth declaring that she was going to be alive is why she's still about to be seven, ain't she? That's why she's still here. Why? Because you refuse to believe the doctor. You refuse to believe the report of the doctor when they said you wouldn't carry the baby to turn. Then if it was born, it wouldn't last long. Here we are seven years later. So I don't care what the doctor says. She got to walk. She got to see. She got to talk. And you got to start to that. I ain't stopping it until I see it. I ain't stopping it until it happened. But because the Bible said, hope deferred, make the heart sick. Some of us have gotten weary in our journey. Yes. Wondering, God, when yes. are you going to move? But he's sending you a word. Speak to me. Yes. And I'll move. Even if he don't move right now, he'll send you a word of confirmation. Yes. Let you know yes. it's on the way. Because right. yes. 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 sometimes it may not be the season for yes. the movement yes. yet. Come on. Sometimes God is getting things in order. Yes. He's getting things in line. So when you step in, you know how to handle it. That's right. See, I, was, I told you I was in Cahokia for a season. Wondering, Lord, why am I in this place? I'm in an old classroom in the back of the school. We wasn't even in the front. We was in the back where people didn't even know we was back there. I had people say, we were looking for you. All the way in the back. I'm saying, Lord, why am I all the way here? This ain't what you told me. This ain't what I thought it was going to be when you told me to go start a church. No, I was looking for them beautiful buildings. <laughs> he said, but you couldn't handle that yet. No. Not only financially, your pride wouldn't have been able to Come change. on now, that's it. So I, got, I had to bring you down to a place that when I started elevating, you couldn't get no glory. See, some of us is wondering, Lord, why? He said, because I'm working some things out. Because that way, when I bless you, I can keep on blessing. Because then you won't take no glory. You say, Lord, I know this has to be you. Lord, this is you doing it. It's marvelous. But open your mouth and declare it. I listened to our first video of when we first started service. I told them, I said, y'all look around. We won't be in this class for long. Now, we was only there a year. Well, a startup ministry, that's quick. Here, in three years, for a startup ministry, that's fast. But when you decree and declare and believe the will of God, God will start moving. And now we're in the right place to have revival. Come on now. Open right. so your mouth and start decreeing. This is my season. This is my year. This is my day. See, what the devil wants to do right now for some of y'all, he pulling up right where you at right now. What you going through, the situation with your family, the situation with your money, the situation you in, that's what he's playing in your head right now. So that's why you won't open your mouth. But this is why you got to have enough boldness to have that word to say, even in the midst of what I'm going through, I'm still going to open my mouth. And I'm still about to say so. I'm still going to declare this is my year. You said that last year. I don't care what I said last year. Forgetting those things which are behind. Listening to those things which are before. I'm declaring it's my year. It's my season. This is my day. I need somebody to open their mouth and start declaring it right now. I'm going to be a North This is some people scared. Some people don't open their mouth. Some people won't declare. I am a
See, he want to establish it for you. But when you say it, come on, he, he want to establish it for you. But when you say it, some of you know you need God to do a miracle right now. Whether it's financial, whether it's in your body, whether it's in your ministry, whether it's in your mind. But I'm looking at some people and you have yet to open your mouth. Speak it and it will be established. Declare it and it will be established. Open your mouth and say something. Come on, somebody give the Lord some praise. I said, somebody give the Lord some praise. I said, somebody give the Lord some praise. Oh, come on, declare it, I feel a miracle. Come on, declare it, it's in your mouth. It's in your mouth. I can't declare it for you, it's in your mouth. It's in your mouth. It's in your mouth, declare it right now. Declare it right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, it's in your mouth. Oh, it's in your mouth. I declare a miracle. I declare a breakthrough. Oh, hallelujah. How many need a breakthrough right now in your finances? I decree and declare right now in the name of Jesus. God, I command doors to come open. You said the wealth of the wicked is laid up in store for the just. God, I command a door to come open now in the spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus. God, open, I, 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 I open a door right now, God. Open a door right now. I dare somebody agree with that decree. To agree with that decree right now. God, provide for your people. In the name of Jesus. Oh, stir your people, God. Open your mouth and say something. Open your mouth and say something. Open your mouth and decree it right now. Oh, somebody need a breakthrough. Declare it over your life. Somebody need restoration. Declare it over your life. Somebody need internal healing. Declare it over your life. Declare I'm not my childhood trauma. I'm not that broken place. I'm not that rape of the station. That's not who I am. I'm a child of the Most High God. I'm tired of being robbed by that year after year, day after day. I'm delivered. I'm set free. We look in the chain. The chain is broken right now. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and say something. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Bible says, if any two, if you touch on anything on this earth, they shall have. of us. Oh, God. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Says the Paul, I see God restoring your strength right now in the name of Jesus. He restoring your fire. The enemy is pressing, trying to press you out. Says the pretty place your head on her stomach. The enemy is trying to press you out. That's what he wants to do. He wants to hinder your praise. He wants to hinder the call of God. But right now, we break the yoke over you, Sister Paula. We destroy this yoke in the name of Jesus. We restore you by the Holy Ghost, by the power of God's Spirit. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, right there, Sister Paula, receive it. Receive your strength. Receive Hallelujah. Oh, my God. I speak to it. I speak to it right now. I speak a blessing. I speak prosperity right now. In the name of Jesus. Oh, come on, somebody praise him. Oh, come on, somebody praise him. If you speak to it, it'll happen. If you open your mouth and speak to it. If you open your mouth right now and speak to it. Open your mouth and speak to it. I speak to it, Sister Paula. I speak to it, Sister Paula. It's not the oh yeah, yeah. There's a fresh wind of the Holy Ghost for you, Sister Paula. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, double portion, double for your trouble, double for your shame, double for your shame, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. double for your shame, double for your shame, oh hallelujah, oh hallelujah, oh hallelujah, speak to it, open your mouth and speak to it, open your mouth and declare it, open your mouth and command it, oh, open your mouth and speak to it. Come on, open your mouth and speak to him. Who's next? Open your mouth and speak to him. Who's next? Thank you, Jesus. Yes, come on. Hallelujah. 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 Hall
Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. God, clarity, Lord. Everything she needs, Lord. God, she declares it. Ah, my Lord, shout to my heart. I hear God saying, you know the power of speaking. Start decreeing it right now. I hear God saying, start decreeing it right now. I'm going to make the footway straight. Oh, God. God, I hear God say, I'm about to move just for you. I'm about to bless just for you. I'm about to step out of heaven just for you. Don't you be worried about nothing. I'm about to provide. I'm about to show you I'm called. Oh, wow. Oh, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Ooh, I'm almost scared to say it. But I hear God say, it's on the way. The truck is on the way. The prosperity is on the way. I have not lied to you when I told you I would bless you. I have not lied to you when I told you your hands would carry money. I have not lied to you when I told you I would prosper you. I have not forgotten, said the Lord. I have not forgotten, said the Lord. I have not forgotten you, said the Lord. And I did not lie to you. This is your year. This is your household year. This is your household season. I see the Lord walking through the house. All of the spirits that's trying to war the house. I see them driving them out. No, 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 no. I see them driving them. I hear God say, I'm going to fight for you. I'm going to fight for you. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, open your mouth and speak to him. Come on, open your mouth and speak to him. Oh, I feel the power of God. Go ahead, go ahead. I feel the power of God. That you keep living, that you keep receiving. 
I bind that thing off of you right now. I command by the power of the Holy Ghost. You don't believe nothing other than the word of God. You don't believe nothing than what God said about you. I command by the power. We speak to it by the Holy Ghost. Oh, I declare over your mouth. Over your mouth and speak to it. I'm in person of the Holy Ghost. I am your provider. I am your provider. I am your provider. You don't need anybody because I am your provider. I will make a way. I will answer prayer. I can't will do it. Oh, somebody praise her. Oh, somebody praise her. Oh, speak to her. Open your mouth and speak to her. Open your mouth and speak to her. Open your mouth and speak to her. I feel miracles. Open your mouth and speak to her. I care all. Oh, God, I cancel cancer right now. I command the healing power of God. Well, oh, speak to it right now. We want to establish it in the name of the Lord. God, establish it, God, by your power. Establish it by your spirit. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we speak to it right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we declare it, Lord, right now according to your word. Speak to it. Speak over yourself. Speak to it right now. Speak to it. You are powerful. You are anointed. You got to speak to it. You got to declare it. You got enough word. I hear God say, you got enough word. You ought to be speaking and binding and loosening right now. The enemy is trying to shut your mouth. Matter of fact, I see God say he will shut your mouth in certain areas where you used to be bold to declare, but now you didn't back off. But I hear God say he will start your boldness. Start speaking again. Start walking. Oh, hallelujah. Even in the room, start declaring we're coming out. Start declaring we're about to be blessed. Start, declaring, start telling everybody how we're about to be blessed. No matter how they feel, what they say, what they got going on, I see God going to step out of heaven and bless you real good. Start speaking, oh hallelujah, oh hallelujah, speak by the power. You know, I bind the enemy right now. I bind the enemy. I bind the force of the enemy right now. I command a loosening by the Holy Ghost. I go in the spirit, I command every stronghold to be broken right now. Spiritual wickedness in high places. Yes, Try to overshadow, but I curse it right now yes. in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes. I break the yoke of the enemy right now. I need somebody to pray right now in the name of Jesus. Don't get tired of it. I need somebody to pray through right now. They're the force of the enemy here. Oh, uh, but if I be a man of God, we're going to break this thing, brother. Up your family, up your finances. Uh, there's a force of the enemy trying to bring confusion uh, and division. Uh, but I curse it right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, I command the spirit to be driven out. I command the spirit to be loose right now by the Holy Ghost. Uh, I command the spirit to be loose right now by the power of God's anointing. I command you to be free right now, brother, of that spirit in the name of Jesus. You gotta put your hands on the shoulder. Hands on the shoulder, on both of them, right now. Come on, y'all, to pray. He got your back, I got your front. We pray your loosening power, your deliverance, right now, in the name of Jesus. For every thought that the enemy is trying to even put, life is worth living. Life is worth living. Life is worth living. And I denounce that spirit right now. I denounce that spirit. You got to live. Reach out. You 
my life. And I bind the devil right now. I bind the devil right now. I bind the enemy right now. He has no authority. He has no power in this place. Thank you, Jesus. You need what the water show. You need what the water show. If you need God, this ain't the time to sit. Well, I feel the stand of God's power. I feel the stand of God's spirit. Oh, my God. It don't matter how many times the enemy's trying to drag you back, you fight now. Oh, there's a fight in you now. There's a warrior in you now that ain't giving up. There's a warrior in you now that said, I'm not going back. I'm not retreating. I'm not going back. I'm not drawing back. Boy, the anointing that's about to be released up on you. If you start speaking it, I see miracles up on miracles up on miracles up on miracles. God by the power. But something that rose back up in you. The blood that rose back up in you. And you're declaring, I'm getting to that place. You already were speaking before I preached it. You already were declaring it before I was preaching it. And I see a fresh wind of God's power. Oh, Lord, before the year is out, you're going to be preaching in revival. Watch what I tell you. Before the year is out, my sheep God by his power. Oh, I feel the power of God. Speak to it. 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 Go ahead. Let them feel you, sister Brittany. Let them feel you with this power. Let them feel you with this anointing. Lord, we speak to it right now. Lord, we speak to the mind. Mind be regulated. We speak right now into the spirit. Spirit be regulated. We speak into the soul. Soul be healed. Spirit be healed. Mind be healed. Be healed right now by the Holy Ghost. You don't need strength out here. The Lord said you need healing. Healing, 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 healing. God goes in your spirit, man. He goes into your soul. And he's about to heal you by the Holy Ghost. Oh, by his power. By his spirit. By his Lord. Death and life is in the power of your tongue. Death and life. I hear God saying, death. And life. Be careful what you speak. Say it Lord. Be intentional with your words. And I hear God say, from this point forward, you have the power. You can speak a blessing into your life. You can speak out me prosperity. I see God. But if you're not careful, the devil will try to get a hold of your mind and cause you to speak down over your life. But I see God breaking every chain of the enemy. What some people can't see. I hear God think. How bad you want to be free. How bad you want to do the will of God. And you're getting frustrated when people can't y'all see. I want to be free. I want to do the will of God. I want to be, but I got all things keep trying to hold me. But God said, I see it. What others don't see it, I see it. What others don't know, I know that I'm coming to deliver right now. Oh, by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of God's Spirit. By the power. Sister Jessica, put your head on her stomach. And I want you to begin to pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, come on, somebody pray right now. Come on, somebody pray right now. Come on, somebody pray right now.
yeah, 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 yeah. It can't be too much longer. 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 It can't, oh, I see God breaking some things. I see God breaking some things, Sister Rachel. I see God breaking some things over you. You're a woman of God. And the enemy can't destroy you. He can't have you. Oh, my God, my God, my God, my God. Just tell them thank you. Just tell them thank you. Uh, open your mouth and declare. 
decree it. Open your mouth and speak to it. Whatever you need to speak to, speak to it right now. Speak to it right now. Open your mouth and speak to it. Whatever it is, speak to it right now. He said, if you decree it, I'll establish it. If you decree it, I'll establish it. Speak to it right there. Oh, we bless you. Oh, we worship you and we honor you. And we lift your name up. Come on, somebody give the Lord some praise. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Glory to God. Thank you. Come on, somebody. Yes, Lord. Come on, somebody give me praise. 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 Come on, Declare and watch God working out. Come on, give the Lord a hand of praise today. Yeah. 